One Magic Christmas comes from the Walt Disney people, and so you'd expect it to be kind of a jolly, upbeat, cheerful Christmas movie, but actually, this is one of the most depressing and downbeat Christmas movies I've seen in a long time. It tells the story of a family that's facing a lot of hard luck at Christmas time. The, the father's been thrown out of work, they're going to be evicted from their house, and the problem apparently is that the mother doesn't believe in the spirit of Christmas. So an angel is sent to the neighborhood, an angel played by Harry Dean Stanton, whose job is to try to get this mother and the whole family into the Christmas spirit. Christmas. Here's a brief meeting between the angel and the mother, played by Mary Steenburgen. Merry Christmas. Good night, Gideon. Well, before that Merry Christmas really sounds sincere, this family is going to have to undergo a lot of hard luck. For example, the father is murdered in a bank robbery, the kids are in the getaway car of the bank robber, and when that car goes into the river, they're drowned. But luckily, that angel is around, so he can perform a few miracles and fix a few things. And by the end of the movie, the little girl is back to life again and at the North Pole for a personal interview with Santa Claus. Santa Claus, how can one sleigh carry all the toys for all the kids every place? Because it's a magic sleigh. Very magic. Do you believe in magic, Abby? Yeah. Good. Your lunch, Nicholas? Oh, yes. Have a nice trip. Yes. Take care of Abby. Make sure that she gets home, and I'll see you in the morning. There is a happy ending on this movie, but I don't know if small children are going to be able to wait around for that happy ending before they break out into tears. And for that reason, I think One Magic Christmas is a miscalculation, too depressing for a holiday picture. I give it only two stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.